क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर इट्स इज अ शेल ऑफ मास हंड्रेड के जी एक्सप्लोर्स एट सम पॉइंट ऑन इट्स ट्रेजेक्ट्री इन टू टू फ्रैगमेंट्स दैट फ्लाई विद मोमेंट ऑफ पी वन एंड पी टू दे आर नंबर आर नोन टू अर्स मेकिंग एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री थीटा थीटा इज द एंगल फ्रॉम ईच अदर डिटर्मन रेशियो ऑफ मासिस ऑफ द फ्रैगमेंट्स फॉर विच काइनेटिक एनर्जी रिलीज इन द एक्सप्लोजन विल बी मिनिमल how much this kinetic energy is that also we need to find out so we uh, can start like this let the linear momentum of shell just before the explosion is p so you, conservation of linear momentum will say p is equal to p1 vector plus p2 vector so this is this is p1 vector this is p2 vector this is theta so this is going to be p vector this is vector addition triangular law vector addition so we can say p is, p is going to be this has to be p so p is going to be square root of p1 square plus p2 square plus 2 p1 p2 cos theta thus its magnitude or we can square both side that's also going to work now is talking about uh, kinetic energy released so how much the kinetic energy is going to be released we will say what is the final kinetic energy is coming minus initial kinetic energy because uh, we know during the explosion particles start moving faster maybe so they get the kinetic energy and that kinetic energy is coming because of the explosion so final kinetic energy minus initial is the increase in the kinetic energy or that we can say really uh, release in the kinetic energy due to explosion and final kinetic energy is going to be like uh, p1 square by 2 m1 kinetic energy is momentum square by 2 times mass so let's say m1 is the mass of the first fragment this is going to be p2 square by 2 m2 m2 is the mass of the second fragment so this is total final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy initial momentum was this p so this p square divided by total mass m mass is m so it's like twice m so p square by twice m so this is the uh, kinetic energy that is going to be released the question says this uh, released energy should be minimum so we want uh, this energy to be minimized now here you find this p1 is uh, p1 is given p2 is given and then if you look carefully then theta is also given so p is known to us m is known to us so this term which is written here over here p square by 2m this is a given number so we cannot do anything with this Now, however in this first uh, this bracket term m1 and m2 uh, they are uh, related like this m1 plus m2 must be m that's the only thing so another relation is missing that means m1 m2 can have a different values to satisfy this thing so that means if we need to minimize this we need to minimize this term so that's what it is written uh, delta ke which is this is going to be minimal when this term let's call it as f this f is going to be minimal now if we want this f to minimize uh, we can go for um, differential method differentiation method so we can say uh, we can find this uh, df by dm1 let's say differentiate it with respect to m1 now you will find m1 is a variable m2 is a variable but m1 plus m2 is a constant so we can replace this m2 as m minus m1 so this m2 has been replaced as m minus m1 now you see only one variable m1 so we are doing df by dm1 now we differentiate it so this half is outside this is going to be like minus 1 upon m1 square so that's like this and this will be differentiated similarly and then further differentiation will make it plus now you know how rules of differentiation so you can go through and this is going to be zero why we are putting it zero to ensure it a minima so when you put it zero then we will find we will get like p1 square by m1 square must be equal to p2 square by m minus m1 square we can take the square root both side so it's going to p1 by m1 is equal to p2 by m minus m1 since these are the magnitudes this so they are positive so there is no need to bring the minus sign then you will find this is nothing but m2 so we got to know p1 by m1 must be equal to p2 by m2 we need to find the ratio of masses fragments masses so from here we can find out m1 by m2 now m1 by m2 is going to be basically equal to p1 by p2 so the ratio of masses to ensure this given condition is coming out as a p1 by p2 and we easily know uh, this is given in the equation itself that p1 p2 are the numbers that is that are known to us so we can uh, find out uh, uh, the ratio by putting p1 as 36 into 10 to the power 4 and p2 is 24 into 10 to the power 4 then you find 10 to the power 4 is getting cancelled out 
and by 12 this is can be made as 3 this is can be made as 2 so m1 by m2 must be in 2 is to 3 ratio uh, 3 is to 2 ratio m1 by m2 must be in 3 is to 2 ratio or basically this is the result we can say m1 by m2 is equal to p1 by p2 so first part we have completed that means the ratio of fragments to ensure this release kinetic energy due to explosion is minimal now it goes further and it asks how much the kinetic energy this is so whatever we are talking about this delta key we need to find this value too then you say it's not a big deal uh, because we got to know m1 by m2 as 3 by 2 and m1 plus m2 is 100 we can simplify m1 we can simplify m2 we can put all the numbers over here p1 is known m1 m2 we have calculated p2 is known p can be calculated over here m is known so this can be found out now if we are desiring to make the relation uh, of delta key in the form the uh, the answer is given expression the in the answer is given so what we can do is this let's start with this delta key e which is this number that means p1 is square by 2m1 p2 is square by 2m2 and then this is going to be like p square we put the value of p square which is p1 square plus p2 square plus 2p1 p2 cos theta divided by twice m now uh, then after uh, this, this is going to be p1 square by 2m if we segregate it so uh, we can take this p1 square by 2 common so collecting p1 together p1 square together basically p1 square by 2 we take common so from here 1 by m1 from here minus 1 upon m so this is going to get and similarly p, p, p2 square by 2 can be taken as outside so 1 upon m2 minus 1 upon m and then this last term will be uh, this 2 is getting cancelled out it will become minus p1 p2 cos theta upon m now we can do this cross multiplication so in upside it's going to be m minus m1 divided by m into m1 now you know m minus m1 is nothing but m2 so this can be written as m2 divided by m1 into m so m2 divided by m1 into m into p1 square by 2 so i have written it directly you can catch it similarly this is going to be m minus m2 numerator which is basically m1 so it will turn out to like m1 divided by m2 into m so m1 divided by m2 into m and then this is multiplying multiplying by p2 square by 2 so these are the two first term and this last term is written as such then after uh, we know this m2 by m1 is p2 by p1 and m1 by m2 is p1 by p2 we can put those things because we are talking about this case when this was a minimal case so this will become p2 by p1 when you write it as p2 by p1 then you'll find uh, 1 p1 will get cancelled out there will be p1 p2 divided by 2m uh, written over, it's written over here so this p2 by p1 uh, if we are placing so we will find 1 p1 getting cancelled out so it will be p1 p2 divided by twice m this is also be equal to p1 p2 divided by twice m so this together will become p1 p2 by m now this is minus p1 p2 cos theta by m now we can take p1 p2 by m as a common so it's going to be like in bracket 1 minus cos theta so this is the expression given in the answer p1 p2 within bracket 1 minus cos theta divided by m now you can put the value p1 p2 theta m which are given to in this question you will get this as our answer so this will become our final response thank you